Someday, you're gonna be an entrepreneur as well. You're the type of boss I want to be when I grow up. Aren't you wise? Hey, man, huh? Huh? <laughs> Once upon a time in PHC, a married couple gave birth to the cute ass kid. That's in the preach the hand of God was upon him. But the road ahead of him wasn't easy until he found Christ, whose yoke is easy. Now everything is easy peasy wheezy for cheesy. Really easy picking cheese mixed with joyful living. When you give your life to Christ, life is sweet and creamy. Yum yum, tastes like heaven on a bed of roses. Come, come and see some say that's not the way it is. But uh uh, you don't know the power Jesus gives. You carry your cross after the cross with power he gives. The power that exceeds the wildest dreams and fantasies of Samson. Yep, yep, the power of the spirit. Problem is you don't know the power given to thee or how to use it so i'm here to teach thee my family fortune comes from the medical field i like your story but tell me a little more about it last year i sold a company for over 100 million 100 million i'm from detroit man my mom she was my everything a woman in the story of let me see what they wrote there the story of the first black Millionaire family in healthcare. Okay. My mom, she was my everything. A woman with a lifelong passion to provide high quality health care to all people. We are behind on all of our bills. That's when the hospital and the fortune are there. I believe that there's actually the story of somebody who actually, you know, he's the first, you know, African American millionaire from healthcare but what happened was that it was the situation and it, it says a lot about the whole civil rights and the blm mindset you know because a lot of african americans way back then and this is based on the real story i don't know i'm guessing this movie is a play or a kind of a a, a post telling of the real story but from what i understand of the real story because of the whole slavery issue and you know um, african americans just being set free during that period a lot of african americans you know there was a distrust because this was you know jim crow and you know this was when there was real you know systematic racism against african americans you know so a lot of african americans did not trust white doctors they it felt so weird that they would go to the white man to ask for help you know when they were in medical need when they were in need of it and especially when at the time the white man didn't even want to give to them and would treat them like oh come through this door or giving them pulses and all of that so a an african-american family took advantage of the opportunity and created and, and he would go and buy from white pharmaceutical companies you know understand the drugs and what it's for and then sell to african-american communities and the african-americans were trusting so that puts him as a middleman and you know he benefited and you know th that family became wealthy so that is that story you know and, and it says a lot it's just like the same similar thing with burials you know funeral homes a lot of african-americans don't want a white man burying them as of that time you know because of the whole situation you know so it's like these people have just been set free from um slavery and then the whole friction of um bad blood between you know the races and the actual systematic racism and the unofficial um no no colors allowed and all of that during that time so it created a situation where african americans do not want you know their dead relatives to be given to a white man that wants their dead relative dead you know, to now take care of the dead body and bury, be the one in charge of brain and all that. So it also created a market there. So it says a lot for that BLM mindset. When there's catastrophe and when there's all this um, so-called excuses, when people are seeing reasons for them to give excuses why they are poor and why they are never going to make it, another person is seeing an opportunity to make money. You know, and it's making a lot of money from it. So, um, because without saying, let's just watch the trailer. What actually attracted me to watch it is because of the dash in the films, you know, dash films. So, I wonder if them dash, you know, the guy who co founded or basically really founded um, Rockefeller with, you know, Jay Z. You know, I wonder if he's behind this, you know, them dash. The hospital is facing foreclosure. I think we have another option. Which I'm is? guessing he is, especially as I'm seeing Fizz on Love starring in this movie. You know, as one of the characters is Fizz on Love. Which is? We can sell. Who will be willing to purchase this hospital? I would be. 
someday you're going to be an entrepreneur as well. You're the type of boss I want to be when I grow up. Aren't you wise? Hey, man. Huh? Of course, they are now putting, you, you see this um, wokeness and stuff, and them, that is, is really for that um, woke pro-woman agenda, which basically makes the woman masculine. Now they are making the woman the whole hero. I, I think in, in the real story, I, I guess also a, a woman played a key role. I think it's even centered on, on, on the woman. But, you know, mixing that with those times that we are in and the pushing of women into masculine roles and pushing men into feminine roles this is you know not good so this is a good story but you know how we stole matters and when they involve too much wokeness in it and i'm seeing a situation where the father is violent and the, and the mother is basically the hero so it's like the, the woman is the breadwinner all of these optics and all of this pushing this does not help you know, it creates a terrible society at the end of the day. Everybody has to realize and play their roles. Men are men for a reason and women are women for a reason. Pretty wise. Hey man, huh? And don't see what I'm saying. A woman can be an entrepreneur and all of that. But she's a female entrepreneur. She's a woman and she's not going to, she shouldn't try to be an entrepreneur that behaves like a man. Or tries to fill the role of a man or walk in a man's shoes or, or deceive herself that she has a responsibility of competing with men. Men are men, women are women. You know, lorries are lorries, trains are trains, cars are cars. You know, they are all different. Bosses are bosses, they all have different functions. A female entrepreneur, a woman who is an entrepreneur, has no business competing and trying to um, put herself like, oh, um, I'm trying to do better than. A male entrepreneur, a woman, a female entrepreneur is a female entrepreneur. She brings something to the table that a man cannot bring. And a male entrepreneur is a male entrepreneur. He brings something to the table that a woman cannot bring. Huh? Huh? So I guess it's directed by Dame Dutch. So he is the one behind the movie. And as I saw the name, Dame Dutch the um, Dutch Films present so good on him and he's smart to put his name at the top of the film because when you look at producers and directors a lot of people that are called great directors the reason they are called great is because they put their name and their face in the forefront it is not like they are actually better than everybody else for example who is the director of Sound of Music who is the director of you know there are a lot of classic movies that are part of every day but people don't remember the directors or the producers because their name were not put at the forefront but there are certain people like steven spielberg he puts his name on the top of the movie steven spielberg this 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 movie when you put your name there people remember it so a lot of people deceive themselves that steven spielberg is the best in you know um the uh, the adventure um, genre of his time but there are a lot of other producers and directors, but they did not put their name at the forefront. It's just like Alfred Hitchcock. A lot of people still remember Alfred Hitchcock and call him um, one of the greatest um, directors, you know, and he's still to today called the master of suspense. But that's because he was actually the first person to get out from behind the camera and put himself in front of the camera. There are a lot of producers and directors who are better, who were better in his time than Alfred Hitchcock. And that's Alfred Hitchcock learned from there are lots but we will never know that or recognize that you know because these people did not push the, at least the, ma the majority of the public you know it's only those who are really really into um, movie making itself you know it's just like for example there, there, there is probably there are probably people around the world who can play basketball better than Michael Jordan in Michael Jordan's heyday but the problem is they were not in the NBA and they did not have the platform to show the world they, their talent that way. There are a lot of people who can sing better than the people who are on billboard charts and all the people that you consider the greatest musicians. They, ha they have a better voice. They can sing. I mean, there are people who can sing and even animals will fall asleep. You know, animals will enjoy. They, their, their character and their attitude will change. Their, their, their singing voice is so unique, 
so powerful. Even if angels are passing, the angels will, will pause and listen. But because they do not have, a, a, they, are, they are not releasing records that are on, on the billboard and do not have a large platform that people are hearing, they will not be remembered. Their name is not going to be called or mentioned. People don't know them. But they will know the one that they know. It's just like McDonald's. McDonald's makes hamburgers, but there are people who make better hamburgers than McDonald's. But they are making it for themselves and for their families. So it's McDonald's that is known for hamburgers, not them. Even though they have way better hamburgers, that even they know how to make the healthy versions. There are people who know how to make even cake that will be sweeter than the one that has sugar, but yet it has no sugar. But they are doing it for themselves and for their family, so they will not be known like the other guy. So you have to keep the the importance of visibility with what you do. You know, it's just like artists who sign their name. If Michelangelo did not sign his name on his paintings, nobody will know who Michelangelo is. We will know his paintings, we will see his art and we love it. Oh, this is what an artist at that time drew. You know, it's just like there's a soldier with no name that people honor yearly. You know, so... It's important for you to put your name and your visibility out there if you want to be remembered and you know your your um, name to be out there and if you're a christian you have to do it um and let your life and let it point to christ you know so there is that so directed by dame dash it's nice that he even put himself in the trailer itself you know not just a matter of making cameos where he appears in the movie itself like alfred hitchcock used to do that but he didn't do starring cameos he would, he would do um like um um cameos where he's like he's just somebody standing in the corner you know in the background you know so perhaps the hero or, or the the main character is walking out of a barber shop and then the person that walks by that that people don't really pay attention to you know that just part of the crowd is Alfred Hitchcock so he put he inserted himself in his movies in that way you know and I guess he found it funny or oh, but you know there's also the, the the concept of visibility which I've been explaining to you every time it's not you know one dollar I made 30 it's pops and bop you get the crystal flowing I'm Sydney Barquette I'm the director of the hospital yes you are what welcome home baby largest house in Detroit. This is our home? Maybe, I just see many dumb mothers like yourself with education. See, but you don't have hustle muscle. Run it back. Oh! You want race? There you go, race. From the mind who brought you paid in food, that's the damn time. 10,000 with me, quite a good. Go! Got a man, don't got no money. Guns, so nobody can. added a Fast and the Furious element to the movie. That's interesting. Interesting how them dash things. Ten thousand with me, quite a good. Go. Got a man, don't got no money. Guns, so nobody take that money. So would anyone else like to question my leadership? I ain't got time to kick it. I got kids to feed. That's what happens when you come in my castle. I'm the prince of Detroit. Interesting prince of Detroit. You know, in as much as I see a lot of movie companies doing this, when they make a movie, they buy the website that is the name of the movie. You know, you have to understand what a website is. It's better that you direct people to the name of your company, like Dash Films. It should be dashfilms.com. You know, direct people to the name of your company. Let people be used to it. So this other movie, because you will make future movies, you know, you can't keep... Be this is an advertising opportunity and an opportunity to imprint a URL in people's mind. So you want people, imagine if you put the same thing that people memorize. For example, there's a reason why Alfred.VIP is used so much. You know, and I linked things to it. For example, instead of telling you, go to my Instagram, Instagram slash this, 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 I'll say, go to Instagram.Alfred.VIP. Then Instagram.Alfred.VIP, since I owned the Alfred.VIP, it will, it will redirect you to my Instagram URL. And number one, it's easier to remember. And number two, what if that Instagram um, account goes? You still have something in your mind that I can redirect you to a new Instagram account if Instagram deletes my old account or perhaps to a different website altogether. 
you know so instagram dot afraid of vip youtube dot afraid of vip you know facebook dot afraid of vip rather than um facebook.com blah 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 so i know what i'm doing and i'm trying to create something that is familiar that as is imprinted on your mind you are not going to forget that you are else so i have that connection with you you have that um implanted in you you know where to reach me you know so um that is important that being said you know the movie it, it, it's it, it looks promising it looks promising you know make sure you check out alfred.vip for more thank you and god bless you say this prayer or the belief you've not given your heart to jesus christ dear god i believe in my heart that jesus christ the son of god came died and was raised from the dead to save me i confess him lord over my life and ask you to give me your holy spirit to live within me i receive your spirit by faith and thank you for i am now born again in jesus name amen if you just pray that prayer congratulations you're now a christian go to alfred.vip and get resources that will help you with your work with god